What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. I don't know if this is going to go up the day that I record it or the day after. Regardless, hopefully you guys enjoy it. This is a rogues mill list. Now this one is a little bit interesting um, and from my so far experience with it, a little bit inconsistent, but uh, it is really, really fun and I think it's worth trying out here. So uh, this is a Demir list focused very heavily around Thieves Guild Enforcer, which is obviously a relatively new card from Corset 2021. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one flash for one. Uh, when it enters, uh, when it or another rogue, excuse me, enters the battlefield, each opponent mills two cards. As long as the opponent has eight or more cards in the graveyard, this gets plus, uh, plus two, plus one, and death touch. So, uh, pretty quickly this can get out of hand if you can get it down early. Uh, the deck in general is very, very cheap, and we've got quite a few little things to trigger the Enforcer. So, uh, first and foremost, Fairy Miscreant. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1 with flying. When it enters the battlefield, if you've got another Fairy Miscreant out, you draw a card. Fairly simple, uh, but a really, really nice little card to be able to keep us churning through our deck, uh, which is very, very important because, again, consistency can be an issue, uh, and so being able to draw some cards is great. Uh, we also have... Uh, the Ghostly Pilfer, which is another new card from Corset 2021. Uh, 2 1 for 2. Whenever uh, it becomes untapped, you can pay 2. And if you do draw a card, again, helping us get through. Uh, whenever an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, you also get to draw a card. Uh, so this is kind of a punishment card for a lot of like uh, Uro stuff or Croxa stuff. Anything that escape, anything that's pulling from the graveyard. Uh, or just indeed anywhere other than the hand. This is a great uh, way to kind of punish that, at least in some manner. You can also discard a card and make this unblockable, which is a great way to finish off the game. Uh, in fact, in playtesting, that, that became very relevant very, very quickly. Uh, now, in addition to these rogues, other ways that we have uh, some mill effects here, Overwhelmed Apprentice, uh, a 1, 2, 4, 1. When it enters the battlefield, uh, each opponent mills two cards, and then you also get to scry two, again, kind of... Fixing the top of our deck, getting it to where we need it uh, so we can make sure we hit our land drops, which, again, is very crucial for this. Uh, we also have Vicious Rumors. It's a sorcery for one. Deals one damage to each opponent. Each opponent discards a, cards, a, a card, excuse me, mills a card, and then we gain a life. So uh, very, very powerful for one mana. Does quite a lot. Generally not great in this meta, uh, but definitely worth a shot here. Uh, we also have Vantress Gargoyle, which acts not only as just a really strong beater for this deck because it's pretty easy to get seven or more cards in the graveyard, to be honest, but uh, it does also help mill cards as well. So uh, you can tap this at the end of the turn, even if you can't attack or block with it, just make sure that you get a card uh, milled each turn as you go through this. Now, uh, we do have quite a bit of little interactive pieces uh, in terms of removal. So we've got four Eliminates, another new card from Corset 2021, Instant Speed, Destroy Target Creature, or Planeswalk with converted mana cost three or less very very efficient super super strong uh really punishes to fairy decks as well uh drown in the lock obviously a good one for um in particular mill decks it's a two mana instant choose one uh counter target spell with converted mana cost equal to or, or less than or equal to the number of cards in its controller's graveyard uh, and then destroy target creature with converted mana cost equal to or less than uh, cards in the opponent in the controller's graveyard as well. So use this as a creature spell or a counter spell. Uh, and then of course tyrants scorn a two mana instant. Choose one destroy target creature with converted mana cost three or less, or return target creature to its owner's hand. Deals very very well with tokens and things like that. Um, all very, very cool. We also have uh, Of One Mind, which is not actually a card that I've played a lot with, but it does make for a very cheap way to draw some cards in this deck, which I really, really like. Uh, importantly, this is a Luris deck, so long term, if we find ourselves needing to, we can kind of start pulling things back with Luris. Uh, as far as lands go, it's a 20 land deck, uh, and it makes sense. We generally don't even really need to go above two mana a lot of the time, but... Uh, it is a little bit tricky when you have 20 lands to be very consistent, uh, but we do have six islands, six swamps, four watery grave, and then four fabled passage. So that's the deck. That's it. Uh, I really like this deck. It is very, very fun, but uh, again, can be a bit hit or miss. So we're going to do the best we can. Hopefully we can get three good games in and then of course three more games later on uh, that you guys can watch. Hopefully enjoy uh, and kick off your weekend with a bang with such such a cool little deck. Uh, I should mention this is not a deck that I've built. I did pull this from Aether Hub. 
uh, and I, I do recall there was there were videos around this deck already. This was not necessarily a, a super new deck, but very, very cool one. Uh, this isn't a super amazing hand, but it does have a nice 1-2 uh, with a few lands and then a little bit of reaction stuff here. So we keep this, definitely. Um, anything that has, you know, our lands in it, we're going to try and keep, I think, uh, just to be safe, because you never know with a deck like this. Um, Depending on what we're against, we may pull the Luris a little bit early, but we'll see. Um, I do really like Demir as a color combination, so I'm hoping that we can get this deck moving in the right direction. Uh, I love just Demir control stuff in general. Uh, this features some of those control elements, but also obviously focuses a lot more on the mill and the aggro portion, uh, just in terms of throwing out a bunch of little creatures, hoping to deal some damage and win that way. Um, regardless, very fun deck. Also, uh, hopefully our opponent does not play quite this slowly the whole time, but we'll see. Uh, just want to mention, as we are waiting for the opponent here, um, if you are interested, our Double Masters giveaway is going on right now. Uh, all you've got to do, subscribe to the channel, comment on any video, doesn't matter which. It can be any video at all on our channel with hashtag Double Masters. I even saw someone going back to the very first podcast episode which is slightly embarrassing, um, but uh, people did, uh, hey, more power to you, you can go all the way back, it doesn't matter, uh, and uh, so thank you, uh, I guess, for checking that out, but please don't. Um, anyway, yes, it can be any video, please feel free, uh, this is, I think, going to be a really fun giveaway, um, and so I hope that uh, I hope that you'll take part, uh, and I wish everybody luck as well, I think this is a really um, fun thing to do. Uh, we're, we're just gonna develop our board. I understand that this is a bit frustrating for us because they can sacrifice it to protect uh, anything that we target, but we've got quite a lot of removal uh, as well as enough lands to kind of deal with stuff. I'm also of, of, the, of the mind of saying, well, maybe we'll block with Ghostly Pilfer if they attack. If they don't, that's fine, um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Not too stressed about it. Um, also, just want to mention, I know I talk about it a good bit, but the JDC submissions for Season 3 are open. If you have a YouTube channel or you know of someone with a YouTube channel that would like to take part, please share that with them uh, or feel free to fill it out yourself. It is on our uh, our disc, or excuse me, on our website where you can fill that out. Um, and all you got to do is submit that application. We'll get a notification and then we'll follow up with you on some more information to make sure that you... Uh, are able to kind of take part in every little piece of it because um, we're, we're doing our best to make this as easy as possible for everyone, but we do want to make sure that we're not asking too much, if that makes sense. Um, let's do this. I'm going to attack with both. I say, as I understand, that might be incorrect, but we're going to try it. Let's see what they do. Let's just see. Uh, if we do get to one for one anything, that's fine. Like, that's totally fine with me. Okay. This obviously makes the most sense. They get to scry and sacrifice and save their damage, and that's fine. Um, we could have made this unblockable, but we really don't have anything we want to discard. It'd be great to be able to get this fourth land down because then we're in a position where we get to uh, hit two removal spells in the same turn, which is pretty great. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do this now? I think we'll wait. I don't know if that's correct or not, but that's what we're going to do. We do get a damage in. Opponent kind of slow rolling us a little bit here. Don't really like that, but that's fine. Um... Hopefully you guys have some awesome fun plans this weekend as well. Um, I think this is a really, obviously it's a, it's a difficult time for a lot of people. So I understand if things are not available to you to do, but uh, I do hope that you uh, can either spend some time with some friends or family, whether that's virtual or not, I don't know, but um, hopefully you guys have a good time. Uh, we um, are very fortunate to have some awesome little content creators in our discord. Uh, so I would recommend checking out our Discord, just seeing what uh, what all is in there. Um, people are welcome to post their own streams in the Off Topic channel, uh, and so if you're if you're interested in doing that, please feel free. Uh, I think it's really a great opportunity to um, 
to build up other content creators. I don't think that uh, enough of that, we will say, is done um, in general. So. Hmm. That's pretty good. Hmm. Let's just see what happens if we do this. Chances are they're going to sacrifice it with the selfless savior. Or, excuse me, sacrifice the selfless savior to save the uh, woe strider, which is fine. Um, but next turn, we're in a camp of being able to kind of deal with any... Except for the venerated loxodon, we're pretty much able to deal with anything. Um, which is great. Sure. Kind of wish we had done the, uh, the, um... The kill spell on our turn that way. Uh, just to make it a little bit trickier. They would have had to... Not had to have, but they could have tapped down the Woe Strider as well, potentially. Uh, do we... I'm going to decline. Uh, only because we've got quite a number of things we want to play here. Um, we will attack here. get at least a point of damage in. Um, now, the question becomes, do we want to do this and this, or do we just want to leave up uh, a couple of removal spells here? I think it's probably correct just to leave up the removal spells, to be honest. Um, got plenty of things we're able to hit, so that's actually quite nice. Um, we will target the Woe Strider first. Uh, yes. So let's get this out of here. This gets rid of their sacrifice outlet. <coughs> Now, do we want to... Hmm. So the problem here is... This is obviously just really, really good. Um, I'm going to do this. We're going to get rid of this guy. <clears throat> okay. Just get rid of as much as we can first. If they attack with both, we'll block with the Ghostly Pilfer on the uh, token there. Um, they will get to hit our Fairy Miscreant, but the Fairy Miscreant really isn't doing that much right now anyway, so that's kind of fine. Okay, looks like they're not willing to. Um, little surprising. I thought they might want to, but that's fine. Okay. Drown in the lock. How many cards are in the graveyard? We're kind of getting them there. Um... Let's do this first. Obviously, they're going to probably ping the uh, Fairy Miscreant, but that's fine. Uh, Drown in the Lock is going to be really helpful here. Uh, okay. So we're not going to be able to do everything this turn, but that's fine. Get the card out of hand. Okay. And I think we just say no attacks here. Uh, this is going to be a bit tricky, but we do get to kill the Loxodon next turn. Um, if we would like to, which is pretty good. They do have Woe Strider just kind of available, uh, which is going to be a problem. I will say the thing about this deck, it's a little bit tricky to pilot. Uh, because the timing for everything is very, very important. Uh, but that's fine. Let's see what they do. <laughs> Uh, we are gonna not block here. Taking a lot of damage, I know. Let's go ahead and get this out of there. And we'll just play this very miscreant. I understand that uh, a lot of our removal here is instant speed, and I'm not necessarily using it at instant speed. That could be incorrect, but, um, you know, that's just what we're doing. Thankfully, they don't have anything in our hand, though. <coughs> okay. Um, part of me thinks this is correct. I don't love it, but... Uh, okay, so we would take, what, two next turn? I think we're going to take the opportunity to go ahead and put this in our hand. This isn't a great pre board state, let's just be very clear, but um, Luris plus like a Fairy Miscreant means that we've got blockers here. Um, not here, though, which is obviously a problem. 
Ooh, that's good. Yes, for sure. Okay. Let's see. Tyrant Scorn can deal with this, and then Ghostly Pilfer could block uh, this. It's not great. Uh, other option would be to play Lurus and then play like a Fairy Miscreant uh, with the intention of playing potentially another Fairy Miscreant next turn. Um, <clears throat> do I like that more? Kind of, yeah. Uh, only because this gets the Fairy Miscreant train going so we can start drawing a little bit of extra stuff, uh, potentially, which would obviously be a lot better than where we're at now. Uh, the danger here, of course, is that they still can attack in with pretty much everything. Um, because of the Castle Embreath here. Um, so we're going to have to be pretty careful about how we play this. I uh, don't think we've got... No, there is no other option. So it is just Fairy Miscreant. But chances are we're not going to get there, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and do this. <coughs> uh, and truly, this doesn't work super well because... Uh, the reality is we're probably going to have to just jump block. We have to jump block the Woe Strider regardless. Oh, and they have Winota. Well, um, we'll let them do their thing. They, they've got it. Excuse me. Yep. We just have to hope they fail to find. Okay, well, they didn't fail to find. <laughs> we'll let them do their thing, though, because it's the nice thing to do. Goodness gracious. Bastry's Lieutenant. This is a sweet deck. Uh, I have seen quite a lot of... Oh, my goodness. I have seen quite a lot of Winota decks. We'll just... We'll let them hit us. Uh, that are very, very good. So, well done, opponent. That was just awesome. That was great. All right. Let's move on to game two. Um, I don't know that we could have done things terribly different there. I mean, there were definitely different options, but I don't know that any of them would have been, like, ideal, if that makes sense. Um, I think they just had a powerful deck, and we just couldn't beat it. But... Feel free, of course, in the comment section. Let me know, because I misplay constantly, um, and that's very normal for me. Uh, Mr. Christmas, look at this. We're against Christmas. Um, yeah, we'll keep. This is a little bit odd, uh, because we get into a position, what do we play first here? I'm going to lean on this. Um, might be incorrect, but we'll see. Ooh, a discard deck, it looks like. That's different. Um, let's do that. Let's attack. All right. Appreciate that the opponent plays a little bit faster. <laughs> uh, sure. Um, thankfully, I don't feel too bad about getting rid of a land here. Might have been better to get the Fable Passage out, but um, either way, it doesn't. It's not that difficult for us to deal with that. Um, it's Fable Passage, and let's play the Gargoyle. Uh, we'll pass here. Not going to attack in. Um, this is a really interesting threat, to be honest. Uh, it's not an amazing one, but it is one, so we do have to be kind of cautious of that. Uh, let's get a second Black Source, just so we've got a little bit of everything here. Perfect. All right, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, we will not attack. Okay. I think what we should do is go ahead and kill this. Um, that's just a problem card for us in general. So I'd much rather just go ahead and get that out here. We will be able to mill a card theoretically here no matter what. Ooh, that's pretty good. It's very good. Um, you had a fraction of my power. It's really not the worst thing in the world to get rid of a Vicious Rumors. I don't love it, obviously, but could be worse. Sorry for the frame rates, by the way. Alright, let's each mill a card. We'll draw a couple, why not? Um, Alright, play this. 
I wish we could hit that so badly, but we cannot. Um, let's do that. Let's do this. Alright. And we'll do that. I may have miscounted there. We probably didn't have to do that, but that's fine. Alright. Well, we'll see what can happen. Um... If they just have, like, a pier, we're in terrible shape, but it is what it is. Uh, sure. Okay, well, they just gave up. That was nice. Um, I think eventually we were going to get there anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into our last game of the video. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about this deck, but uh, it is a little bit tricky, I think. And given certain matchups, I think it just gets outpowered. Uh, that's from playtesting as well as this video, so keeping in mind that you guys haven't seen every game that we've played with this one, but uh, it's still a fun deck. It's a really fun deck, and I think there's a lot of value in what this deck is trying to do. Uh, it's just, does it work super well or not sometimes? Uh, we will keep this. Uh, we'll go ahead and play the Enforcer. Worth noting, by the way, I keep playing this on main phase. You don't have to. You can play this out in, at instant speed. It's a flasher. Um, sorry for the frame rates again, by the way. Looks like another discard deck. I'm just going to go ahead and Vicious Rumors. They're a discard deck. Let's be discard back. Um, they had a Rankle. And a Heartless Act. Okay. Well. Sure, you get Drown in the Lock. We can use Drown in the Lock to kill that. So, like, I'm not super upset about it. Let's do that. Then we get our other one back. Um, we attack him. Already got six cards in the graveyard, which is pretty good. Sure. So next turn, what are we hoping to draw? I think just any, like, do something spell, if that makes sense. That is a do something spell, that's for sure. Uh, let's do this. See what they do. Uh, we're not going to attack here. Well, in the turn, this uh, works as a counter spell. So it's worth noting that there may be something higher value that we can do with this. Like this. Um, and if they have another kill spell, they're going to have to burn it. Um, so I'm fine with that. Sorry for the frame rates, guys. I apologize. I know it, it gets bad sometimes. We've had some major network issues lately. Ever since they updated uh, the last few weeks, we've had some issues with it, which really sucks. I hate that. Um, let's go ahead and do this. I am not going to put Luris into my hand unless we A, have nothing else to do, excuse me, or B, um, we literally, like, have to, or, or, excuse me, B, we can actually play him in the same turn. Um, I think that that's pretty important. I am going to put the land on the bottom, though, because, again, we're in a position where we really just want stuff to do. Just going to attack for five. Um... And I'll pass here. Uh, the only reason I'm saying that is because if they do have a lot of hand destruction stuff, which we've seen a little bit. Um, granted, a lot of it's been, other than Rankle, it's been like non-creature spells. Um, but hey, we got there. Sweet. That was nice. Um, I think, again, we were just answering everything they could do, which was awesome. But that's what the deck is supposed to do. So, all right. Overall, I like the deck needs some consistency stuff but overall again we're doing just fine with it we're going to jump into a second video so if you want to see a little bit more action with this one you certainly can i hope you enjoyed this video uh we will sum up our thoughts a little bit more in depth in that second video so do keep up with that but uh thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it i hope you again have a fantastic weekend do something fun play some magic uh share some texts with us if you've got some we'd love to play them on stream so thanks a lot guys i appreciate it and i'll see you very soon for part two of this uh what are we calling this demir rogues rogues mill that one rogue mill that one all right we'll see you guys then